Bonjour, et bienvenue. My name is Shelby Dockery, and I'd like to welcome you to France. It is my pleasure to introduce to you some of the particulars of the French criminal justice system. In this introduction, we'll cover such considerations as what sorts of specific laws or customs may influence what you can or cannot do as a private citizen, what type of police force protects the country, what the court system is like for French citizens, and what the prison system is like for the convicted offender. French individuals are granted birthright citizenship, called juste soli, where the person is a citizen as a consequence of being born on French soil, and juste sanguinis, where the person is considered as a French citizen if both of his parents are French citizens. This is the citizenship system that the United States features. Unlike the United States system, however, residency must be proven in order for Jus Soli to apply. Tourists giving birth do not confer French citizenship to their offspring. An interesting provision in French law is the ability to marry the dead under certain circumstances. This law was drafted by Charles de Gaulle to assist a young fiance in dealing with her grief after her betrothed died in a flood caused by a bursting, bursting dam. This law remains in effect today, with a couple being married in 2014, despite her fiancé dying suddenly two years prior. There must be proof of the intention to marry, and no death benefits are guaranteed as a result of the posthumous union. The Conseil Superior de l'Audiovisuel mandates that at least 35% of music played on radio stations between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. is French in origin, with at least 50% of that music being created in the previous six months. Stations that broadcast worldwide are only required to play French music 15% of the time. The French police force is composed of three unique bodies. The Police Nationale, our national police force, responsible for combating crime at the federal level. This department reports to the Interior Ministry. The Gendarmerie is a military force which is responsible for law enforcement services among the citizen population, primarily operating in rural areas. They report to the Defense Ministry. Municipal offenders, municipal officers, deal with crime at the city level, operating in most urban areas. There's been a recent call for decentralization of police services, but as of now, police operations in the country remain centralized. France is a civil law society. The courts look to statutes rather than prior case law in order to interpret laws in any particular case. This practice does not find universal application throughout the colonies which France, France oversees. Humonian says, even in a centralized written law-based country like France, legal pluralism exists at different levels. Recognizing that different island territories under French rulership practice greater or lesser degrees of civil law according to their existing legal traditions. The court is divided into droit public, which concerns the public law applicable to the state operations and public bodies, and droit privé, which concerns private law applicable to private individuals and private entities. The court system is also divided into judicial courts, which are concerned with civil and criminal laws, and administrative courts, which are concerned with public laws. The Conseil Constitutionnel oversees the review of statutes prior to enactment, oversees national elections, and answers questions regarding the constitutionality of law. The rights of the citizen within the French court system are similar to those found in the United States. French prisons are understaffed and overcrowded. The result of this combination is poor treatment of offenders. A report by the European Committee for the Prevention of Torture described the conditions in French prisons as degrading and inhumane. These diseases run rampant in this setting as well. Izquierdo et al. reported the 62.7% prevalence of anti-HAV antibodies in inmates was much higher than the 2010 estimates of 25.6% for all 6 to 49 years in the French general population. 
This means that a greater percentage of people by far was exposed to HIV uh, in the French prisons than was exposed to the general population. Altogether, the French prison experience is not one that can be recommended. Thank you.